Just let me lose it and trust You won't find a better than this I swear I'll be your lead Just let me know so I won't look up You won't be your lead Just let me lose it and trust What's up guys? Welcome to how to make your vlogs cinematic and aesthetically pleasing. My name is Aiden Chin, if you don't already know me. If you just watched that intro and was somewhat impressed or enjoyed it, this video is basically just going to be a tutorial on how you can make similar types of videos like that. Excuse my voice because I am a little bit under the weather today. Without further ado, let's get started. So if you're here, you're probably a vlogger or content creator of some way, shape or form, or you just like my videos. But anyways, there's a fine line between engagement and creating aesthetically pleasing visuals. And I kind of try to combine them, but it is really hard to combine them because you can lose engagement by creating a cinematic shot that lasts too long. So I try to make all my cinematic shots very quick, very seamless, and I also try to tell a story because it helps keep the viewer engaged. So my first tip is don't sacrifice engagement for cinematics. If you wanna look at your engagement for your videos, you can go to YouTube Analytics and they'll show you your exact retention and when people stop watching your videos. So that way you can learn from your previous videos and look at retention to focus on for your new videos. So when you're making content for your videos, you also want to focus on the environment around you. Depending on the type of content you make, this might be applicable to some people and it might not, but for vloggers specifically, change the background of where you're talking. Whenever I make informative videos or videos where I'm trying to bring a point across, I always try to change the background or move to a different spot because this can actually spike your engagement. And this goes along with cinematics as well and creating an aesthetically pleasing video because if you're changing your environment all the time, it's gonna keep it interesting, it's gonna keep it refreshing, and your videos overall can be way more aesthetically pleasing. Hence why for this video, I'm on top of a parking garage with the sun setting in the background. As you can see, whenever you have a more interesting background or environment to work with, it's easier for the viewer to stay attached to the video, and it also makes it a little bit more enjoyable. Because as a content creator, if you're just sitting in your room all day every day making the same type of videos, it gets pretty boring. A lot of what makes my vlogs aesthetically pleasing to look at as well are the angles that I shoot. So for example, if I wanted to film myself going down this ramp, I would shoot this angle, probably this angle, one of these, Maybe one of these. But yeah, I think you guys get the point. It's helpful to have a lot of angles. One of my last and final points is lighting and color correction are also very important. The lighting of your video can make or break the content. You can notice I moved over to the stairs because the stairs have way better lighting than the top of the parking garage did because it got dark. This is a common example of how nature won't always work with you, so you kind of have to work with it. I put a little less effort on color correction than most people do. My videos are meant to relate to college students, and I feel like the more real my video can be, the better it is. And of course, that'll depend on the creator, but for me, color correction isn't my major priority. My next and final tip is actually really special to me. You'll see why in a second. It's a whole nother segment that I have to film when I'm back at my actual house, so I'll see you then. Alright guys, so I just got back home for winter break. I finished up all my finals and now I'm back at my original home. But the last point that I want to make for this video is the clothing that you wear. Now the clothes that you wear can actually make your video a lot more aesthetically pleasing to watch. Like if you're not dressed presentably or comfortably, the video's meaning and value is decreased a lot. And that's why I buy a lot of clothes used and I like to upgrade my wardrobe constantly because I realize that the content that I release can be elevated by how I present myself. And that's why this portion of this video is sponsored by Cuts Clothing. <laughs> All right, so without further ado, let's get unboxing. The first product that we're gonna look at is a hoodie. After trying on the hoodie, it feels really comfortable, it's super lightweight, and it actually fits me perfectly. It's not often that a hoodie can deliver in this way, feeling super light and comfortable, yet also providing warmth. The only branding they even have on the hoodie is a very small X near the bottom right corner, which personally I think is a really great touch. Now let's check out the t-shirt. All 
All right, let's open this up. Oh wow, I really like that color. Off the bat, I can tell it's super lightweight. It's a nice like beige, red, brown type of color. I can feel the quality of the shirt is just super nice as well. This is definitely one of the nicest fitting shirts I've ever had. It's super light, super soft, and it leaves enough room where you're not revealing anything under the shirt, but at the same time, it's snug enough to feel a little bit flattering. And of course, this t-shirt also features their signature Minimalistic X logo. If you guys want to check out Cuts Clothing for yourself, I'll have an affiliate link down below, and my code will be right here on the screen. But just like I was talking about earlier, aesthetically pleasing clothing is kind of the key to making an aesthetically pleasing video, or at least one of the key points. The audience isn't going to value what you're trying to say or put across if you're not fitting the role of that position. I'm definitely going to be rocking these clothes for the next few weeks. But yeah, thank you Cuts Clothing for sponsoring this video and sending me these really sick clothes. But yeah, guys, I'm going to end off the video here. I really hope that you enjoyed, learned something new, got better at making your videos more aesthetically pleasing. And as always, stay productive, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.